Traveling between the valley and the west side isn't easy or fast, and traffic will only get worse over time. Metro has a plan to make it easier to get around. The natural barrier created by the Santa Monica Mountains makes this area complex and challenging and will require innovation and multiple solutions. Metro is studying several projects in this area, including a new rail line with the Sepulveda Transit Corridor. The Sepulveda Transit Corridor project can provide reliable, high-capacity public transportation to provide an alternative to traffic and help take cars off the road. Before we get into the latest updates on this project, let's quickly catch up on our progress to date. Metro completed a feasibility study in December 2019. The study looked at potential alternatives for traveling between the San Fernando Valley and LAX. In our extensive outreach for this study, we received more than 1,200 public comments. All of this public feedback and our technical analysis from the feasibility study has informed the range of proposed alternatives being advanced for environmental review. In March 2021, the Metro Board approved pre-development agreements with LA SkyRail Express and Sepulveda Transit Corridor Partners to pursue a potential public-private partnership to accelerate delivery of the Valley to West Side section of this project. The pre-development agreements, or PDAs, bring in teams that include designers, construction contractors, and financial partners to begin working with Metro earlier, when the project is still being planned, and long before we get into heavy construction activity. This early partnership can help to prepare designs that incorporate insights from construction and long-term operations and maintenance. This offers a life cycle approach to the project and prepares it for a possible public-private partnership. The PDA teams work with information from Metro's feasibility study to offer their proposed alternatives using proven rail technologies. We're now beginning environmental review. This is a formal, regulated process where Metro will study various aspects of each proposed alternative, including benefits, cost, feasibility, impacts, and any necessary mitigations. There are several points of community input during the multi-year environmental process. The Metro Board will select the locally preferred alternative or final route and mode for this project. Let's look at the six alternatives we'll be studying in environmental review. They are identified with numbers. All alternatives begin at the Van Nuys Metrolink station, which will provide connections to Metrolink trains, as well as the future Metro East San Fernando Valley light rail, Metro G line, formerly known as the Orange Line, and end on the west side at the Metro E line, formerly known as the Expo Line. Alternatives one, two, and three are monorail. Alternative one is fully aerial, traveling west before heading south along Sepulveda, with stops at the Metro G Line, Sepulveda Station, and Ventura Boulevard. Then it continues over the 405 through Sepulveda Pass with a stop at the Getty Center before continuing to the D Line Westwood VA Station. It then heads south to a stop at Sepulveda Boulevard to end at the current E Line Sepulveda Station. This alternative also includes an electric bus connection from the Westwood VA Station to Veteran Avenue Westwood Village and the UCLA campus. Alternative 2 follows the same route as Alternative 1, but with an automated people mover connection to the UCLA campus from the UCLA Westwood D-Line station. An automated people mover is a small-scale, driverless transit mode similar to what you might see at an airport. Alternative 3 runs along the same aerial route through the Sepulveda Pass and goes underground after the Getty Center to provide an underground connection to the UCLA campus. From there, it connects to the UCLA Westwood D-Line station before returning to an aerial 405 route with a stop at Santa Monica Boulevard and ending at the E-Line Sepulveda station. Alternatives 4, 5, and 6 are heavy rail. Alternative 4 has an aerial segment along Sepulveda Boulevard before moving underground after Ventura Boulevard, where it continues underground for the rest of the route. This alternative would have underground stations at the UCLA campus Westwood UCLA D-Line Station, Santa Monica Boulevard, and the E-Line Sepulveda Station. Alternative 5 begins aerial at the Metrolink Van Nuys Station and then moves underground along Sepulveda Boulevard for the rest of the route. It heads along Sepulveda with underground stations at Sherman Way, the Metro G-Line Sepulveda Station, Ventura Boulevard, UCLA, the Westwood UCLA D-Line Station, and Santa Monica Boulevard before ending at the E-Line Sepulveda Station. Alternative 6 is entirely underground. From Van Nuys Station, it heads south under Van Nuys Boulevard, stopping at the G-Line Van Nuys Station and Ventura Boulevard. From there, it continues with stops at the UCLA campus, 
Westwood UCLA D-Line Station and Santa Monica Boulevard before turning west to end at the E-Line Bundy Station. We're now entering scoping, which is the first step in the environmental review process. During this stage, we want to hear from you about what Metro should consider and study as we prepare the environmental impact report for the Sepulveda Transit Corridor. Possible comments might include input on the destinations that you think are important to serve, your preferences for transit in this area, and questions or concerns you might have about project impacts. We will be conducting virtual scoping meetings where we can hear your comments. We will also take formal comments via mail, email, our website, or over the phone during the scoping period. We appreciate your interest in this transformational project and look forward to hearing from you.